Well, I'm uh, Jerry Boykin, and I spent 36 and a half years uh, in the United States Army. Most of that time I spent uh, in special operations, the Delta Force, the Rangers, the Green Berets, and uh, joint special operations. And I finished my uh, last four years as the Deputy Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence. General, uh, I know the topic today was Benghazi. Uh, at Impact America. Um, would you care to comment uh, on the Iranian threat that now exists in the world and uh, what you think should be done about it? Yeah, the Iranian threat is a global threat. It's not just a threat to Israel, it's a global threat. The Americans have not taken it seriously. I think much of the world uses Western logic to look at Iran. Uh, recognizing that Israel is also a nuclear power, most uh, Americans would say, well, if the Iranians were to use a nuclear weapon against Israel, Israel will retaliate and destroy Tehran. That's Western logic. You see, what they have to do is understand the theology of the mullahs, of the Grand Ayatollah, and of the Supreme Council to understand that in their mind, they still win because the Jews are all killed and go straight to hell. But every Iranian, every Shia Muslim that is killed in a retaliation is a martyr with a guaranteed place in heaven. And they destroy, in the process of doing this, their most hated enemy. So people say they wouldn't use a nuclear weapon against Israel. You don't understand the theology of these people and you don't understand how radical that theology is and you don't understand that it does compel them to do exactly what we fear most and that is use a nuclear weapon against Israel. With that in mind, um, do you feel that America should step in immediately? Uh, how do you feel about Israel doing the job? What are your thoughts? Well, here's, here's my view of this. Uh, first of all, this uh, treaty, and I use that term very loosely, that uh, John Kerry and our president and our administration are so excited about is a farce. It's an absolute farce. It does nothing to reduce the vulnerabilities of Israel or the West or anybody else because the Iranians will continue with their nuclear program. They've only been set back, Benjamin Netanyahu says, maybe maximum of four weeks that it sets their program back. They give up nothing and they get everything. So this treaty is a farce. Now, what should we do? First of all, we should have started a decade ago uh, doing the right things, using all of our diplomatic influence as well as our economic power to sanction them in such a way that it was such a terrible burden on them that they would they would have to rethink this. Now we're down to a single option. No, we're down to two options. Accept a nuclear Iran or take it out militarily. I don't see any other operations that options that would work. So how do we do it? My view is that America has got to take the lead on this. I don't want to see another war. That's not my point. But given the existential nature of this threat, and given that that threat is not just to Israel, but to the United States as well, that we have got to take the lead on this. And I think that we need to give uh, the Supreme Council in Iran uh, and President Rouhani a very clear message. We are making preparations to do all we can to destroy your capabilities. Now, if Israel takes the lead, if Israel feels that they have reached a point where they can no longer wait, a red line has been crossed, then I believe America needs to be all in in supporting Israel. We need to provide them with tankers. We need to provide them with the right kinds of munitions. We need to give them all the intelligence that we can give them. We need to be all in in supporting them if they've determined that they've got to take the lead and make a strike.